What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We have another episode of No Muzzle, man. Thank you, everybody who buys a hoodie. And whoever doesn't, it's all good, man. My name's Eddie. And you already know, I just happen to be that one nigga, Nick. And we just did a podcast in the studio with Alan Baez. Baez? Baez. Baez. Like the word biased. Yeah, man. So what's up? What's going on, Nick? How'd you, how'd you feel about doing the podcast? Fuck! Wow. Um, I feel like that was a pretty good start to the podcast, actually. Yeah. You know, just boom, just on the ground, on the corner, on the floor podcast. That should be the new fucking title. Yeah. <laughs> but I liked it. It was cool. It was, you know, it was a step up. You know, like Goldmine Studios was dope. Shout out to Will, as always. Goldmine Studios was always, you know, dope to be in, you know. A little bit more professional, but yet, at the same time, uh, a walk into Will's home and his place of business, you know, because that's how he made his fucking personal pay. But it was cool to see how everyday people get their area and their place to be able to settle and do their own podcast you know it gave me insight into what actual youtubers go through whether it be inside of their home or inside of a uh, a unit i guess a small unit and you know it was still a lot of room in there so it wasn't technically even a small unit i liked it man i had fun like always it was dope to actually get asked questions and get to talk about a little bit about myself because I feel like I don't have my story out there. Like, I do get personal, but not too personal because I'm not really like that, you know? So it was cool to, to chop it up and kind of explain what I got going on and what I'm doing with the whole YouTube thing. So it was cool for me, man. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been out in a minute, so it was nice to just get out the house. And oh, be yeah, able to... Nick is back on the channel, man. He took a little hiatus, and he's back. Welcome back, Nick. How you feeling, man? How does it feel to be back? Well, I mean, I don't have COVID-19 or Corona or whatever the fuck the new name is on the streets, you know, that's hot with the kids and CDC. So I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm doing all right. I'm broke as fuck because I used to work at the airport and they decided that they were just going to go ahead and get rid of about like 10, 11 of us all in one go and shit. So I've been out here on my ass searching for a new job and I'm like super considering going back to school. But hey, all the school and courses are online, so I can't even do that. And I just feel like I'm just completely fucked at this point, you know? If you don't hear from me for a while, it's because there's no way to contact me. A nigga's phone bill is due tonight, you know, tonight. And I've like spent all of my money buying groceries for the house and maintaining and helping my mom out and getting the required amount of TP and shit like that. And you know, now my money is funny and my change is strange, you know? And I can't even fucking pay my own phone bill because I can't find a job because every time I go into a, an establishment, it's closed so I can't even get in or it's not considered to be an essential job and you know they're closed regardless so i'm just looking into the fucking window or people just don't even want to deal with me you know they they see me and they spray they spray me down with fucking lysol and shit like hey apply online in like fucking june or april or some shit you know like we're, we're, we're good right now it's we're true, fucking though. good it's true and i honestly wholeheartedly feel that the airport had this information way beforehand because they're an airport they're a fucking airport, you know, they so know why going on. why wouldn't they get something a little bit ahead of the everyday average fucking citizen and shit, you know? They probably got told, hey, we're going to get hit with a virus. We're not going to have as much business. You guys just, just start letting people go because it's going to come to the point where you're only going to have three people working, you know? You don't need these extra hands. And so they deleted us, and I've just been trying to figure shit out, and it's been super rough because my mother for 14 years has worked at a job that had no unemployment and they downsized her so now she no longer has a job and she can't even apply for unemployment so she's just doing favors for people you were made for no muzzle nick you have no fucking filter there's no way that you can put a muzzle on me i'm just one of those rabid motherfuckers that's always gonna be snapping and clawing and biting at motherfuckers verbally because i don't know anything other than that you know, I've been going through it. Don't nobody hit a nigga up. Don't nobody say, hey, what's good with Nick? You know, like I'm over here stressing the I fuck out. Well, I mean, you do, bro. You do. But I be don't I, I be in my own shit mentally. 
emotionally that I don't want to deal with nobody and I don't want to bring my shit into anybody else's happiness. You just had a child. You got a baby mama. You're working towards something. You know, you're 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 hunting and you're gathering, you know, right now. You know? It, you're on a different level than me right now. And I don't want to bring my negativity and my bullshit to, you know, whatever plans you got going on or whatever moods you got going on or whatever you got going on to begin with and and say you're in a good mood and say you've been hitting you know strides and you've been making progress in your life i don't want to bring my negativity towards that so i choose not to i make a lie i lie and i say i'm busy or i forgot or i whatever but i'm really just sitting at home wallowing in my shit because i just don't want to you know bring anybody down you know and this time that i'm going through this this turmoil that i'm currently in that everybody's feeling right now like it's it's a real um i guess you could say it's a real eye opener you know you know for for 26 years i believe that my mother had her hands on the wheel you know and you know come to find out we crashed a long time ago and she's <laughs> just been sitting in the in the driver's seat holding on to the steering wheel of a vehicle that doesn't even work anymore you know and society life to we in 2020 society has moved on we're in the future's past, as my friend likes to say all the time. You know, things are happening. Things are moving at all times. If you're not moving and you're not flowing with the times, you're getting left behind. And my mom, sadly, got left behind a long time ago. And she don't know how to cope. She don't know how to move, you know? And then, I think I think you were right. My bad. I think you were right because you said uh, you didn't want to bring me down. Hearing you say it, it made me feel like, damn, man. This is what I've been She's going. really fucked up by here, man. God damn. It, it's fucked. It's fuck. I can't even go look for a job because jobs. There's no jobs right now. Damn. Yeah, though. Shit, we got a yellow motherfucker. You know that they only are hiring people at essential places, and if those motherfucking essential places have enough people, well, guess what? A nigga's going back home, back to Indeed, back to Monster. That's Back true. to whatever fucking job app I'm using on my phone currently. Look at me right now. I've been told by females that I'm, I'm okay. I'm looking good. They like the rough look. But what happens in a month or two? You know? There's only so long I can play the Gambino look. There's only so long <laughs> I can look like a well-dressed bum and shit. You know? like. <laughs> and like I said before. That's hilarious. Like I said before. Shit is serious for me. My phone bill is due tonight. I can't pay that shit. How the fuck am I going to find a job if they can't call me? You know? Yeah. It's just, it, I'm struggling right now, and I don't want to ask nobody for help because I'm prideful and shit. And I sh it, this is my problem. This is my business. Why am I special? Why should I burden people with my bullshit? You know? Damn, that's deep, Nick. Oh, fuck. You know, that's deep. How far that fucking phone went. <laughs> so, um... So, you know, uh, I, I have a baby and I have a relationship with my baby. You do. I have you a girlfriend. Do. This and, is the um, first no muzzle that I've been on in a minute. In a minute. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you've made it to this far through the video, woo for you. You ain't got shit to do. You in quarantine just like us. So enjoy the rest of the fucking video. So, um, you know, I, I have nothing negative to say. You know, I'm very happy and I'm in love and all this stuff. But, you know, there is moments where... There are arguments and stuff like that. So I feel like, I don't know, man. I, I look back. It's all good. I look back and I feel like, damn, like sometimes my anger and my pride can get the best of me and I don't handle situations completely the best. So what do you think? What do you think about relationships and arguments? Like when, when you were in relationships and arguments, how did you handle them? handled them immaturely um shout out to my ex like i said i'll never speak ill of you you were the best thing that ever happened to me i just didn't know how to handle you at the time i wasn't ready for you you know and i apologize for the I things that i did i wasn't i was more in love with the things that you did for me than with you and i'm sorry for that i truly am but i had to i had to hurt and get her to mature and to understand and to appreciate. And I know what's important and I know who I'm becoming and who I'm trying to be. And I'm working on me right now. I got a lot going on, but something that the universe has always done to me 
is in my time of turmoil, when the when my chips are down, when the cards have been dealt and they're, they're a shitty hand and I just got to play those cards, beautiful, intellectual women come into my life. And you ruin them. Not that I ruin them, but in a sense, I watch them ruin themselves trying to help me. And I feel burdened with the fact of, do I still want to accept the help because they're actually really helping me, but at the same time damaging themselves? Or do I just want to, you know, enjoy the fall, my damn self and shit, you know? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. I feel like that because, um, what's it called? I don't want to, I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose my baby. I don't want to lose my girlfriend. So sometimes you got to take a step back and just look like, damn, maybe I'm an asshole. Damn, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, oh, maybe my asshole. emotions, maybe my emotions and my, my feelings make me feel like she's, she might be wrong. And I react in the wrong way and I just, damn it, man. Sometimes I'm glad, I'm glad, um, I'm glad that, uh, my girlfriend, you know, like she's also very, uh, could be very, uh, prideful and she also can, you know, let her mo uh, get her anger, get the best of her. But then I'm so happy that, uh, we could sit down, talk about it and realize, uh, the way we feel about each other and what we have right in front of us, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm learning, man. I'm learning a lot, to be honest, like having a family and, uh, trying to, oh, shit. trying to care about somebody that's, that's, um, trying to care about somebody that's not myself, you know, having to worry about another entity, another person, another, another heart, another brain to worry about flesh that's your own exactly man like and i'm just you know that's just what i've been on that's what i've been thinking about a lot and i just you know i want to hold on to what i have you know that, that's that's basically what i'm feeling no muscle that's what i'm feeling you know I'm trying to hold on to what i got and make the best of what i what i could have what, what what's next for me you know i'm trying to make the best of it I'm trying to be the best i can be you know what i'm saying See, si, senor. You feel that? So, what's next for Nick, man? What's next for me? Like short term. Short term, I have a beautiful angelic person in my life right now, who's a preschool teacher, and they don't get enough credit because a lot of people consider preschool teachers to be glorified fucking babysitters and shit, you know. But that's not her. That's, it's really not. And I'm worried about her finding out who I really am right now. You know this this loser this person who just lost his job who has no money who hasn't gotten a haircut you know who you know it's just he he doesn't know what the fuck is going on with his life right now and i'm trying to figure everything out and then life just throws this beautiful woman who's caring and compassionate and empathetic towards me and that's really great and that's really fantastic but at the same time I don't want to be the topic of discussion when she's with her friends. Like, wow, he's a really handsome dude and I love him, but he's a fuck up. You know, I would hate to have that be the conversation. I would hate to have that be the topic. So there's a lot that I need to get a hold of, to grasp, get in control of, hone in on and, you know, get busy. You know, I, I, I've been kind of in stasis for a long time in my life. And I've always known which direction I need to go, but I've just been very, 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 very anxious and hesitant to take those steps. And it's sad to say that a woman coming into my life would be the reason for me to fucking make haste and move. But sadly, it is. I don't want to disappoint. And she's too amazing of a woman not to not to give a fuck. You know, I'd be I'd be fucking slapping myself and spinning in my own face not trying she hasn't even begun to try and she's trying for me damn and it's a good girl the man. least that i can do is try. repay the favor of not being past because she told me like you know people in her past have just had a lack of ambition or they don't want to try to help themselves when she's trying to help them or whatever and it's like I don't want to 
I don't want to be a detriment to something that would be great to me in the long run with the way that I handle situations now. So what I need to do now is take the steps towards bettering myself so I can be the man that she already sees. So I like that, man. That's dope shit right there, man. What's something uh, to sign off? What's something positive you can say about what's going on? Yeah. I mean, take it with a grain of salt, but every day we get new information about this virus. I guess necessarily the shit that I wouldn't have to say is positive, but in the long run, it can be. Just stay alert. Go out and get information for yourself. Don't have the news feed you shit. Don't listen to what your aunt said that was passed down from her friend from the barbershop that she heard from her auntie who work at the office building and shit. <laughs> Go online and get information yourself. Yes, it's going to take work, but every lie has some truth to it. Every story that's been told in the history of mankind, whether it be Dracula, the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, whatever, there's been some truth. If you dig deep enough, you'll find the origin to everything. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but again, I personally feel this shit was orchestrated. We have the Center for Disease Control, the CDC. There's no way in hell that it wouldn't be super simple for someone to grab a vial of COVID-19, which was probably seen and heard of years ago. Because that's what I've been finding out, that there's patents on vaccines for this fucking COVID-19 that were found in 2006. Shit. 2006. I like how I told you to say something positive to sign off. I know. You ended up negative. No, no, no. This isn't negative. This isn't negative. This is me giving people positive information that they probably didn't have for themselves. Maybe sparking an idea in their head and saying, fuck, I got 10 minutes. I'm on my phone already. Why don't I just go fucking explore for myself and see what information I find? You know? People can always find more than what the fuck I'm talking about right now. Every day, there's new information. Again, take that information with a grain of salt. But everyone who's watching this video right now, who's alive and breathing air into their lungs, is living through a historical historical event. 20, 40 years from now, when you're talking to your grandchildren, they're going to ask you about what happened in 2020, 2021, because this shit ain't ending this year. You know, the virus isn't going to be like, oh, you guys stayed inside for two, three weeks. All right, I'm going to head out. No, nigga, it's a virus. It's going to do what the fuck it wants to do until we clean the streets, until we stop fucking, until Asia stops eating whatever the fuck they want to eat and shit, eating fucking ass jelly from a fucking snake or a squirrel and eating bat heads and shit and doing all this crazy shit. Like, you need to fucking relax. Eat some fucking chicken, bro. Like, it's, it's super simple. It's funny how I brought up chicken because I'm black, but whatever. (laughs) That's the first thing that came to mind. But I'm going to sign off with some positivity and shit. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Do all that bullshit. I've heard drinking hot tea and being in hot environments helps kill this shit. It's actually a weak-ass flu, but the news and everything has been selling you sensationalism and shit and having you freaking the fuck out. If anything, the only thing you got to worry about is the economy and watch out for politicians making power moves with niggas fear. That's the only thing you need to worry about. That's it. And and, and then on top of that, worry about how long this $1200 supposedly is going to take to get to your fucking neighborhood or to I'm the waiting. building. That's for damn sure. Or to the building that you personally can make your way to and go pick up. There's definitely going to be robberies people's mailboxes. Just know that bills is coming and just know that if they give you this 1200 don't think they ain't gonna take that out of your taxes next year like the government gonna want their money back i'm no fucking genius and i'm no conspiracy theorist i'm just a nigga living life in sun valley very small bowl very small slice of the world but that's just my perspective and as is this is that one nigga nick my you didn't let me end with my positivity man oh well, go, go ahead but my positivity is, man, you got to appreciate and love what you have. I got okay? you. If you want something, if you really, really want something, you got to appreciate it. Take a step back. Look at it. Do what you got to do to hold on to that. You know what I'm saying? You really want something, you can go ahead and have it. You can hold on to it. You can do the right things. If you don't, that's on you. You got to be happy with yourself at the end of the day. You feel me? So, I'm going to go home to my girlfriend, my baby, 
and finish washing these clothes in the back. Don't think I'm a nasty, I dirty... saw this nigga stole a Target basket. Don't tell Target about that. My name's Eddie. This was a, another one for no muzzle, man. This is what I'm here to do. And please, please, I don't... I don't I'm not a fucking... I'm not a, a, a big, famous... I'm just Eddie. And I sell no muzzle hoodies. And I do a no muzzle show. Go ahead and hit me up and buy a sweater, man. Nick needs to buy one. I'm going to pressure him into buying one. I know he don't got a I job. I have no fucking money. He's still going to buy one. He's going to find a way. He ain't even going to be able to contact me after tonight because my phone is going to get turned off. So if this nigga wants me to buy a hoodie, he's just going to have to give me one. I will hunt him down. Yeah, that's not going to happen. My name's Eddie. And I'm that broke-ass nigga Nick who needs a job. So if y'all nigga fucking got a job, send that shit my way because I'm about to go work back at Domino's or some shit. This shit's fucking sad. Domino's isn't a fucking essential business. Like, that's crazy. And this was No Muzzle. Peace.